All right, let's return to our tables, please. Let's go, let's go. And let's put away the iPads, let's put away textbooks, let's put our tables and everything. What questions do you guys have about your project, about your presentations? Any questions at all? Something you don't understand? Something you're confused by? Something you want clarification on? Anything? Uh, Elizabeth, can you get the lights, please? Let's pull up some maps here. And what do you hopefully see? There we go. There it is. Voila. Europe. Yes, that's right. Samuel, you see the continent of Europe. How many continents in the world are there? Seven. There are seven. Um, raise your hand, and if you would like to come up here and point out the country that you are doing a project on, Dalong, please show us. <laughs> yes, my name is Dalong. My name. On the shoulders and then on the all right, Dalong, what continent are you guys, or what country are you doing in Europe? Belgium. Belgium. Raise your hand if you agree that is Belgium. Raise your hand. He is right. The orange country right here is Belgium. I went there in 1989. Were you guys born then? Yeah. Oh. I was a high school junior, and I went there with my Dynamo Soccer Club, all right, along with a few other countries. All right, Belgium, part of a region, an area that shares common characteristics, called Benelux, Benelux, Belgium, B-E, Be, N, what do you think the N is? Netherlands. Sometimes people call it Holland, but Holland's actually a special region within the Netherlands. Belgium, Netherlands, Benna Lux, Luxembourg, right? This little tiny country here called a microstate. There's a few tiny countries in Europe. Italy. Uh, well, actually, Italy's kind of big there. See that boot? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's got some size to it. Yeah. Right. Samuel, you said one. and. Andorra and Monaco, those were microstates, little tiny countries. Vatican City. Okay, so Balon, who's in your group? Meh. All right, meh, you guys. Uh, someone else, point out your country. And actually, I have two maps here. If you have a little trouble seeing it, here's another map that shows Belgium right there. Everyone see it? Okay. Do you know why that soccer advertisement's there? Because you're the whole lot of soccer. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. You know, I've been looking at soccer stuff online. <laughs> it's uh, well, something really up. weird is that, like, my dad will look up a video on YouTube, and then that night my mom will look up the world go to YouTube, and that same video or something related to it will be on her YouTube. All right, MJ. <laughs> Ow! All right, what country? Uh, Sweden. Sweden. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Sweden. All right, thank you. That was kind of fast there, MJ. If you weren't looking, you might have missed Sweden. So this here, yes, no, is Sweden in, in red. And it's part of a region, an area that shares what? Common, Common characteristics, maybe the same kinds of food, same kinds of clothes, same kinds of beliefs, values, 
is part of a region called Scandinavia. Scandinavia. So Sweden, a little bit colder there. Okay. Um, so we've got, and your group is you and Mindy. All right. Someone, and here's another map again. So Sweden, right there. Much of it uninhabited because it's so what? Cold. I mean, it's, it's freezing up here. Someone else, please point out someone. England. All right, England. Do you agree with someone that this is England? No. Okay. Well, if you don't agree with them, you're wrong. No. Uh, I've never been to Sweden. I've never been to the Scandinavian countries, but I did get the opportunity to go to England, and I saw the Queen of England. Yes, I saw her. People were going crazy when she went by on the road. Uh, well, no, I, I kind of got caught up in, in the excitement. I was like, the Queen, the queen you know. Mommy, mommy, I saw the queen. Okay. All right, someone else. We're doing the theme of location here. Grant. Or you're Belgium. Okay, someone has it. Samuel, what are you? You are the Netherlands? That's weird. You're a country? Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Green. All right, Netherlands. So one more time. I said the Netherlands and Belgium and Luxembourg are part of a region called... Benelux. Okay? Benelux. What about you two? Greece. Come on up here, Greece. So this is Greece's flag up here. Greece. Alright, down here. Here's Greece. So in Bible class, you're going to take a Bible test today, and the New Testament was written in what language? Um, Greek. Greek. So New Testament in Greek. Corinth, Greece. Corinth. First and second Corinthians. Letters of Paul. Um, is there one more group? Yes, no? No. no. What's, your, what's your group? Oh, you're part of England and in some? England and Eric? Okay, you were saying so everyone's shown our countries. All right, how about you just give me one interesting fact about your country or something you've learned, or maybe you already knew it. Someone give me something about their, their country. Bao Long. In Belgium, people wear casual clothing in their house, but wear fancy clothing. Okay, so in Belgium, you're learning that perhaps when they go out, they might dress a little bit more fancy, right? So that's like the Chinese culture, isn't it? You know, a lot of times uh, I might see uh, Chinese ladies really dressed up and, and they're at some kind of act activity or function that's really not something you need to dress up for. Where in America, especially in the Midwest, where I'm from, uh, wearing jeans and sweatshirts, t-shirts, you know, uh, wearing flip-flops, casual wear sandals, all right, very, very common, all right? So in Belgium, you might see some more formal attire, a little bit nicer clothing when they're out and about. All right, something else about one of the countries. MJ. Uh, um, Sweden, Sweden is cold, so they wear suits. Okay, all right, so another fact about clothing here in Sweden, because it's at a high what? Latitude, latitude. So these, remember, are called what lines? Latitude lines. And let me pull up the other map, because that's a better map for Sweden. So these latitude lines, if you notice here at 66 and a half degrees north latitude, the Arctic Circle, all right, it's colder, so they're obviously going to wear warmer clothes. One more interesting fact about 
one of your countries. Daniel? Okay, here in the Netherlands, this tiny country here, that sometimes people use what word for this country? Holland, all right, which technically is a region in the Netherlands, but they often say Netherlands, Holland, in the same way they use the words interchangeably. Here, you have a lot of artists, all right? They value art, okay? Bell's about to ring. You're off the hook. Adios.